Join me for lunch here on the set. Watch the Kiwanis TV auction Saturday the 16th. See how you and four of your friends can have a guided tour right here. From the British Columbia Television Newsroom, here is Robert Malcolm. Good evening. High winds and heavy rains disrupted life on the south coast today, flooding streets, downing power lines, and causing the all-too-familiar problems along the Squamish Highway. The provincial government has spent tens of millions of dollars upgrading this treacherous section of highway between West Vancouver and Squamish, but when the weather gets foul, it's the same old problem. You are advised due to heavy rain, travel is not recommended unless absolutely necessary. A weak radio signal warns motorists of the potential danger as they head down the rain-soaked highway. A red alert is in effect because of Charles Creek. There's been an avalanche up above and logs and boulders are being pushed down the mountainside. The highway isn't completely closed, but after millions of dollars spent here, the problem is dealt with the old-fashioned way. All right, we're advising travel only if necessary. The road could be closed at any time due to flood and flood danger. Okay. If you do go through, be especially careful of bridges and creeks. Okay. Bye. A few motorists heed the warning and turn around. But most, for necessity's sake, drive right on through. Well, there's nothing we can really do about it because we have to go through here to get to work, so... Yeah. That's all there is to it. Are you surprised with all this construction that they've had and everything that they still have to have alerts in bad weather? Um, no. No, I, well, you, there's nothing you can do about this train around here, you know, it's... Like, what do you do, build big retaining walls around everything? You, it's nothing you can do about it, eh? Can't harness it, Mother Nature, eh? No, you can't do it. This time, none of the homes at the base of Charles Creek are in danger. And the bridges that were washed away in a previous storm are safe. More on the weather problems tonight on News Hour Final. <laughs>